Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your mid-July reading. This is really for the 16th through the 22nd, but it's for whenever it resonates with you. Okay, so if it feels right, then it's for you. If it feels wrong, then it's not. Okay, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. If it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. If you'd like to book a private reading, the information is in the description box below. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, you might be in your emotions a little bit. Okay, so... This is not being able to master your emotions. You may be feeling cold and withdrawn, detached at this time. Okay, we are going through a lot of changes. So, you know, you may be feeling it uh, quite a bit. All right. You could also be dealing with another water sign that doesn't have your best intentions at heart. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So somebody is is not trustworthy, okay? Somebody is draining your energy. It's like they are sucking it right out of you. Uh, it feels as though, you know, you need to remain confident during this time and stand up for yourself because this other person is coming in to take you down, you know? And, and maybe their intention isn't to take you down, but they're bringing you down. Somebody is bringing you down. Um, you need to you need to find all the strength that you possibly get can to remain focused, okay? Because it feels as though right now you're dealing with somebody who is very pessimistic, somebody that is a naysayer, and and they're just bringing your energy down, 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 and that's really sad. It is. You could be dealing with a player. I mean, the Two of Pentacles is my player card, upright or reversed. And I think that you're trying to be flexible. You're trying to, you know, uh, bend to this person. You know, you're trying to give it, it all, give, it, give it your all. But they're they're really causing some conflicts for you. Oh my goodness. Whew. Let me make sure that this is zoomed in. So this is for mid-July, the 16th through the 22nd or whenever it resonates. You guys are going to have to do your best to step outside of your comfort zone and stand up for yourself, okay? Do your best because this person is, they have no fear. This person that you're dealing with, with has no fear and they may be using emotional blackmail against you, Cancer. Because they know that your heart is so big. So just beware. Somebody thinks that, you know, they can overpower you. Don't let them. Do not let them. Okay? Your challenge is is not bending. Please do not. And I know that's hard for you because you're such a caregiver. So you need to stand up for yourself in whatever situation this is. Because somebody is is trying to basically... prove that they're right and you're wrong you know that kind of thing it's like they're bringing obstacles into your life they're lying to you the eight of swords reversed is lies and obstacles okay so that's what they're doing they're doing anything in their power to overpower you that's the best word that i can think of and they see that you are kind-hearted so that's what where they're, they're going with this they're like oh i can get whatever i want from cancer 
because they are so kind and whatever. So just, just beware. We're going to get some clarifiers here. This is supposed to be a love reading. Generally, generally my readings are love readings, but the last few have not been. Somebody is stealing your energy. That's for darn sure. And the fact of the matter is they probably see that you have options. This person sees that you have options. This person sees that you have other opportunities waiting for you and that's why they're they're charging in they're moving too fast they're lying to you they're doing whatever they can to get you to not change you know what i mean to not change your course interesting that's exactly what this is too you're dealing with somebody who's bringing has a victim mentality and 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 for all you cross watchers that want to point your finger at cancer I'm going to give you a little heads up. Let's, let's look up the uh, definition of narcissist. A narcissist will try to flip this reading. It just happened on the Capricorn reading. I did a Capricorn reading and somebody went on there and said, Oh, no, no, this is the other way around. Well, that's exactly what a narcissist will do. So this reading is for cancer. Okay? Cancer is being played. And the player does not want them to know that they are being played. Okay? Now, this isn't going to resonate for every single cancer out there that watches it because I can't read every single person. This, If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. If it's right, then it's right. You will know if this reading is right for you. You're dealing with somebody that is a naysayer. They have a victim mentality. And this is why narcissists came up. You are dealing with somebody who is placing all the blame on you. They don't have self-esteem. They don't have courage. They don't have confidence. And so they're bringing you down with them. Misery loves company. Maybe you need to let your friends help you. Somebody is giving up. They've lost faith. Somebody has lost faith. And you know, I have to throw this out there. There could be a third party situation. There's no hope. There's no hope. Somebody is losing faith in a relationship, perhaps because they know there's a third party situation. I don't know. Somebody is seeing the light coming out of a period of darkness, realizing the truth about a commitment. So, for some of you, there's an obstacle that needs to be removed. Something needs to end, completely end. This betrayal, this, these lies, they, they need to end. It needs to end so that you can find victory and success and happiness in your life. You have to take a stand. You have to have no fear, Cancer. No fear. Have no fear. This person that you're dealing with, they're, they're strong. I mean, they, they do lack. They lack um, courage and they lack self-esteem and they lack confidence. But they have strength enough within them to overpower you. You know what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. Put it that way. This ain't their first merry-go-round. So love, we want to talk about love here. Somebody could be charging into your life very, very quickly if you're single. But they bring conflicts with them. This is conflicts, it's competition, it's pettiness. But this is a, is a message of love. So somebody could be coming into your life and off and messaging you or sending you a message sending you love but there's some sort of competition here maybe you have competition for this person because there's a third there could be a third party situation and somebody thinks that you're naive enough to not see it that could certainly be the case for some of you you, you could go out to some sort of celebration. You go out with your friends and you meet somebody. Could be a, uh, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because this reading is for thousands of people. We are not all living the same life. 
So I'm reading for many people, take what part resonates with you and let the other part resonate with the other person. Somebody is meeting up with somebody new, okay? And it's probably an earth sign, okay? And it could lead to happiness. It could, okay? It could lead to happiness when they let go of some sort of betrayal, some sort of worry, some sort of doubt. But this is the ending, okay? When they remove this obstacle that has made them be detached and withdrawn, they go out, they have fun, and they meet somebody new that leads to a commitment. So this is interesting. I think somebody has lost hope or had lost hope in finding love. They decide to go out and whatever, get drunk, whatever it is. I don't know, go have fun, go, go meet up, whatever, go to something with some friends and they have this new love connection. But then again, he, maybe you don't accept it. Maybe you feel like you're not lovable. Maybe you feel like you're not worthy. Somebody doesn't allow it. Now, mm -hmm. lack of wish fulfillment. Twice we have lack of wish fulfillment. So somebody feels like I'll never be loved. I'll never be loved. This is these are both victim mentality. I'll never I'll never get the love that I want. They want love, but they feel like they're never going to get it again. They feel like they're never going to find that they this wish fulfillment. Interesting. You need to be practical here. If you want love, you need to devote time and energy to it and, and get out of your head. Don't let the past hurts hold you back. You know, justice wants to be served. Justice will be served in your favor if you allow a new opportunity to come in. Whew, somebody is trying to keep things balanced in their lives by not letting anybody in by closing themselves off because somebody in the past has used them, abused them emotionally, uh, emotional blackmailed them and made them think that they're not worthy, that they're not lovable, that, you know, they've said all the wrong things to make you think that you'll never find anybody. But the fact of the matter is, is that you are lovable. And so, therefore, you've lost yourself. You've lost your direction. Here we are. Here we are. This is your card in reverse, the chariot. Loss of direction, lack of discipline, loss of will. You aren't mastering your emotions this week. You're letting somebody or something from the past hold you back from being loved. And it's all in your head. It's all in your head. Somebody has manipulated you into thinking, and remember I brought up narcissist, that every word that comes out of my mouth comes out for a reason. And I don't like to use the word. Whether there's a narcissist in your life now, or there has been in the past, a narcissist does permanent damage. And it is, I mean, and not permanent, let me rephrase that. You have the ability to step outside of that damage. You, if you master your emotions and you allow yourself to replace fear with faith, which you're not, you can find success. But you have to allow this transformation to happen. You guys have been abused because of your heart. Your heart has been abused. Therefore, now, now there's a new opportunity. Somebody's interested in you. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody's interested. And you don't dare. You don't dare. But I feel like this could lead to something stable committed perhaps even marriage but you fear disaster whatever is happening is fated it is meant to happen and whatever happened in the past was meant to happen even if it hurt like terribly which I'm sh I see that it did Something hurt you terribly to the point where you can't trust, you can't believe that you're lovable the whole nine yards. The fact of the matter is, is now is the time to allow 
someone in that does have your best interests at heart if you let them. This is somebody that, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or whoever it is, but this is what I'm looking at. This is your justice. This is somebody that is loyal, somebody that is honest, somebody that is grounded, somebody that is real. But you're very conflicted about it. Could be any sign. I was just looking at her energies. Okay, could be any sign. But now you have a heavy you have a heavy decision. The justice is a heavy decision to make. Do you allow your heart to open up to this person or to anybody new? Period. Do you let your guard down? Do you stop worrying about it and let go of the fear of disaster? Do you? Or do you continue to let fear rule your life because the chair at reverse is letting fear drive? Which is impacting your wish fulfillment and love. You were dealing with a narcissist, whether it was in the past or now. Do not let them control you any longer. Please, it's up to you to take back control of your life. You were, there's no doubt about it. It's time for you to get out of your head, okay? See the truth. Let go of these overwhelming fears, the anxiety, the worry. Stop being so overly cautious and, and just let go of the resentment and open your heart. It's time to open your heart. Decide that it's time to open your heart. Focus on your future. Don't turn your back on the past. No, do turn your back. I was going to say, don't, don't focus on the past. And then I saw the back. Turn your back on the past. Focus on the future. Your ships are coming in. They're in sight. You have a new opportunity, Cancer. Accept it. And whether this is with somebody you're with right now and you're not giving them the full opportunity, the full chance because of what somebody did in the past, give them a chance. There's an opportunity for love here if you can let your guard down and not let the past narcissist that you were dealing with hold you back from being loved because they are still controlling you at this point. You were manipulated, lied to, deceived by a very cunning individual. And your future is in your hands. You have the ability to open your eyes to a new beginning. You have to be practical. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. I'm wondering if you guys are going to be dealing with an earth sign. It doesn't matter what sign it is. But this is be practical. Get grounded. There's an ability, or there's a period, or there's an opportunity to enjoy life with another person if you allow them to come into your life. But right now, you don't feel lovable. You don't, you don't feel like you're worthy, and you are worthy. Stop overanalyzing it. You're thinking about it too much, and just let it happen. Let it happen. My advice to you, Cancer, is there's a new opportunity for love. Let this person in. Let them in. Marry them. Oh, boy, that's a good one. That's a perfect card for you. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Like, you feel like this is, a, you know, I'm only going to get hurt again. The last one ended in a disaster. I was abused, whatever, whatever. And for all you cross-watchers, I don't want to, if you point the finger, then you're the narc. You don't have to like me. I don't let they them do this on your videos. I don't let people point the finger at you on your videos. And you're not going to do it on theirs. It works both ways. 
Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. I'm going to read it again because I interrupted that. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back, which it's holding you back right now. Fear is holding you back. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. You have to feel both vulnerable to let love in. From Archangel Michael, write about your thoughts and feelings. My prayer, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. So Cancer, you have an opportunity here for a commitment that leads to marriage. It's beautiful. Allow it. Talk to you later.